You may be asking yourself this question, should I buy a Blackstone griddle? After spending a season cooking on it, I'll give you my answer here soon. Look at this 36 inch griddle for 289 bucks. Yes, you should buy one. I'm gonna to explain to you uh, some tips, some tricks on why I think this is a great tool to add to the arsenal. There's a lot of amazing food that you can cook on it. Um, there's food that cooks really fast on it and it won't smell up your house. There's just so many advantages to having a griddle that can be outside while you cook on it. Man, there's some great food. I would think if you do any kind of camping, you would want to add this to your arsenal. Um, they come in a variety of sizes, um, let alone there's you can cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner uh, on this griddle. So I would definitely add it. You don't have to mess with charcoal, and uh, you make some great food. I would say my all-time favorite food to cook on the Blackstone griddle is bacon um, for a few reasons. One, it doesn't take you that long to cook a whole bunch of bacon uh you know buy a couple packages cook them and you have them you can put the leftover bacon in the fridge it's good to eat cold um you know i know a lot of people say use thick cut bacon i've used thick cut bacon i've also used the regular cut bacon on it uh, if you do the thinner sliced bacon the biggest thing is keep it your fire low and slow <laughs> Uh, it'll cook up pretty fast. I more or less put the bacon down. Once I get the last piece put down, I'm already flipping it over at the beginning where I put my first piece down. You only needed to flip it a couple times. The other uh, trick with that, you'll see a lot of people using some kind of bacon press. You don't need that. I've been able to keep my bacon flat just by flipping it. Um, obviously, if you use thicker bacon, I think it works a little better on keeping it completely flat, but um, you don't need a bacon press. Um, that's one thing I'll say. Don't get me wrong. I still have a charcoal grill that I use. Um, I think each uh, grill ha has its uh, purpose. And I think it's okay to, you know, if you like smoked meats, um, like to do any kind of smoking, you know, you're going to want to use your charcoal grill for that or your smoker. Um, you know, that's one thing disadvantage to having a griddle, I would say is, yeah, you can't really smoke your meat on it. But, uh, at the same time, I mean, you get a lot of nice flavor from that seasoned griddle. Um, so I, I, I wouldn't let it be concerned, but like I said, each tool has its purpose and the, the Blackstone griddle is just another tool in your arsenal. I find I cook on it a lot. It's pretty easy to cook food, uh, fairly quickly. And you get a variety of food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, as you can see, I've been kind of showing you pictures of all different things I've cooked on it. Just to give you some ideas um, and some hints. Um, definitely, like I said, bacon though is, is one of the easiest things to cook. The other advantage is you don't smell up your house smelling like bacon all day. Um, that's one thing that's nice about cooking it outside. Um, you don't have that bacon smell on your clothes or stinking up the house for all day granted it smells good but you know at some point during the day you don't want to smell bacon anymore um, definitely maybe you're wondering um, how much uh, propane you use with your griddle I would say I get anywhere from five to seven cooks on my griddle before I need to replace the propane tank um, it can vary. I usually use all four burners. Um, some people don't cook that way, so maybe they can get quite a few more cooks out of it. But I'd say I average between five and seven cooks before I need to replace the propane tank, um, which isn't too bad. Propane tanks are 20 bucks to replace. You know, when you're buying charcoal, you could probably get four cooks out of a big, big bag of charcoal. So, and those are usually 15 bucks. So it's going to be similar to like a charcoal grill as far as how much you have to spend on propane. Um, I Like I said, I do like the versatility of the griddle. Um, it has its purpose. Besides bacon, um, I enjoy cooking like uh, basically uh, chicken stir fry, um, chicken fried rice. Um, I love to do fajitas. These taco crunch wraps are really good. Those are fun uh, to make, easy to make, um, and they're really tasty. Better than Taco Bell's, that's for sure. Um, don't be afraid to throw a cast iron skillet on top of your griddle. 
Uh, I've cooked in that many a times. I used uh, uh, some brats and beer on there. Um, you know, onions, butter, mushrooms you can cook in there. Um, don't be afraid to put that on top of your griddle while you're cooking. Uh, makes for a nice to be able to cook it all right there. Um, the other thing I talk about, look, consider is getting yourself some accessories. You know, spatulas are nice to have. You got to have water bottles. Um, I recommend getting the good uh, Blackstone squirt bottle that came out recently. Those work really well. Um, also, something uh, I would definitely purchase is a chef's apron. I would get one of those. Um, you know, a lot of times there's grease um, splattering. Helps protect your clothes from getting stained up. Uh, protects you from the heat from the griddle if you get a little too close. Um, those are definitely some things I'd look at. I also like the cover that you have to steam your food. Um, I would definitely get one of those uh, Blackstone covers that you can put over to melt your cheese. Um, that's Especially if you don't have a lid that you close over your, your griddle top. Uh, you're going to need that. The other thing I would buy is extra foil pans. Um, they're cheap. You can put your food in them before you cook it, after you cook it. Um, that's really nice to have. As you can see here, like put the bacon in there with some paper towels. Once you're done cooking it to help soak up that grease, that works really well. Um, you know, pork chops are good on there. Uh, any kind of vegetables are good to cook on there along with potatoes. Those are really good. As you can see, there's a lot of different things that you can cook. Um, so don't be afraid to to try some new things. Um, you know, also get yourself a cover for your griddle. That's important to keep it out of the elements, uh, especially when it's sitting outside. Like I said, the accessory packs, um, I have this one. Uh, works out really well. Um, I enjoy it. Like I said, I added more accessories. This little foils for the back to catch all your grease. That's nice to have. A lot of times when I'm done, I just leave it set out. Animals clean out the grease and I reuse the, the foil for uh, more grease. So uh, keep that in mind too. Another reason you should consider buying a griddle, whether it be Blackstone or another brand, I prefer the Blackstone, but uh, you know, there's a lot of other brands out there as well. But uh, the biggest thing I think by getting one of these is how fun it was. Um, you know, the, the beginning of the pandemic here, I believe we bought ours in April here. Um, we, we were doing a lot of cooking at home and we found a lot of different foods that we've never cooked before and the whole family really enjoyed it. Um, so I really, I think it's one of those things that creates a new fun and exciting way to cook food at your house. Um, did the newness wear off a little? Yeah, after a few months, but I'm still trying to come up with ideas and, and different things to cook. Um, but it definitely, uh, it makes it fun to cook again. So, you know, and this is just one tool in the arsenal. So keep that in mind. Um, breakfast is really awesome to cook on this as well. Uh, there's just so many different things you can cook. There's that lid I'm just talking about earlier uh, to cover your food, to melt your cheese, to help the cooking process do some steam, flash steaming of your vegetables. Um, it works for that as well. I guess the big thing is don't you know don't have too many expectations going into this. I mean, if you're looking for uh, a taste of particular meat, uh, smoked meat. You, you know, you're not going to get it with the griddle, and I don't think you can go in thinking, hey, this is going to be the ticket for that. It's not. That's not. This isn't the tool for smoking your meats. That's for your, your charcoal grill, your smoker. Um, you know, it's okay to have several tools in the arsenal, um, definitely, to, to grill and enjoy your backyard. Um, but definitely the griddle is a tool to add to your to your arsenal. There's there's so many different things you can cook on it. Um, and the thing is, it cooks pretty fast. I mean, you can throw your food on there in no time and, and have it done. So you got to keep that in mind. You know, and as far as cleanup goes, it's pretty easy. You just scrape off what, while it's still warm, scrape off the food that's left over, you know, wipe it down. I always use paper towels, and then I put a little bit of oil back on so that way it isn't rusting. And it's pretty easy to do. There's my trusty chef, chef apron. I really like that. Um, you know, cook cabbage. Um, that was something I tried on there that was really good, uh, along with bacon in there. Um, those are really good as well. So just keep all this in mind when you're you're thinking about purchasing one. I know I, I 
thought about it a long time and finally I just decided to get a griddle and, and I'm really glad I did and and I hope that uh, you know this video helps you make your decision but uh, I tell you what it's been a lot of fun it's been very enjoyable um, there's so many things you can do there's so many people out there doing customization you know they're making their whole kitchen around the griddle um, which is kind of fun to see there's a lot of videos a lot of information out there as you can see I even put a picture of my charcoal grill in here it has its purpose too I want some smoked pork chops so I use some apple wood in with the charcoal to give it that smoky flavor once again this is another tool for the arsenal um, as you can see the the Blackstone, though, has done my family well. We've enjoyed it. We've had a lot of fun. Uh, I even tried cedar plank uh, trout on it. Um, it wor actually worked out. It took a little longer to cook than I thought it would, but uh, it actually worked, and the fish was, was amazing. So um, would I do it again on the griddle? Yeah, probably, but at the same time, I could use the charcoal grill just that easy, too, for this and probably get it done a little faster. Um, but uh, I tried it and it, it worked. So, I mean, there's nothing that you can't try on it. But at the same time, you want to be efficient, too, when it comes to cooking some of this food. So keep that in mind. I think one thing that the griddle is really nice to use is to toast your buns uh, for with whatever you're eating. It adds another element of flavor, uh, crispiness to the sandwich you're eating. Um, definitely is is nice also blackstone has a lot of nice spices available and seasoning um these are some of the few that i have i really like steakhouse um i like cheese steak cheese steak is great if on mashed potatoes believe it or not just sprinkle some over the top they're really good that way i enjoy it i put them on other potatoes as well uh, cheese steaks are also another favorite at my house those are always good uh, don't be afraid to just substitute hamburger instead of doing ribeyes or skirt steak um, it's a little less money that way, but yet it still tastes really good. So that was just another tip for you on that. Uh, but these turned out really well, and they were really good to eat. Um, I actually, I think some of the best brats I've ever made are on the Blackstone. I actually pour beer right over the top of those and let them cook, and I just do a little bit of beer at a time, let them bathe in it, and uh, I use some of that all-purpose seasoning that Blackstone has, and oh, they're the best brats I've ever had, and I've had several people tell me that, so that's another tip for you to make good brats, um, get some beer brats. Yeah, actually, if you pick up the brats from Aldi, um, the beer brats, those are really good. Um, I've had all the different brands, and those turn out really well. Um, as you can see, this uh, chicken feed has looked really good. There's that cast iron skillet I was talking about. You can bathe your brats in that beer as well on there. That's another way of doing it. Um, that works out good. Got to have that dome. That's nice for, for steaming everything, steaming your vegetables, melting cheese. Oh, yeah, you can even cook steaks on the Blackstone griddle. I've done it uh, quite a few times. They turn out really well. Even put some corn on the cob on the griddle. Um, I've done that. Should have probably cooked it a little longer, but that's okay. You learn every time you do something, so keep that in mind, too, when you're using the griddle. There's just a lot of different things you can do. Keep track, learn. Um, you know, you learn by doing, so don't be afraid to try something new. Uh, French toast turned out really well. What's nice is you can cook a whole bunch of it at once, so that way you can eat with your family um, instead of cooking one at a time type of thing, like on your kitchen stove. Um, this turned out really good and was yummy. So overall, should I buy a Blackstone griddle? Absolutely. Uh, I would not hesitate to buy a griddle. Um, I think it's a great element to add to your, to your arsenal. Um, you'll be glad that you did and you can enjoy it, experiment, have fun with it. Um, it's definitely worth doing. Um, don't hesitate to do that. I just want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to my channel, hit subscribe and hit the bell and follow me. I'm going to have a lot more foods coming, creations, and uh, I'll try to do some reviews once in a while on some of this stuff as well. Hey, thank you for watching. Take care. God bless.